Hello everyone. So it's TKD Gal here and I am here with my first installment of Nail of the Week. Yay! So hopefully if everything goes well and you guys like this little series then it'll become a series. So uh, this video is just intended to kind of show you guys different polishes and that I'm going to wear that week and then any um, nail products that I discover that I think are great, you know, I'll show them to you in this video, uh, the, in this series of videos. So let's get started. I did my nails this morning and uh, let's see if you guys can kind of see that. It is the OPI's Holland Collection. Uh, I have a herring problem. And here it is. And I've worn this in, I think, another video that I made recently. Um, this is the first time I think I'm showing it to you guys officially. So this is kind of a grayish blue. And it has silver uh, shimmer in it. Um, to me, it reminds me of blue jeans. And I think I said that before. Um, it reminds me of blue jeans. And um, I really like it because it's kind of like a toned down kind of blue. It's not super bright or anything like that. This is the darker of the two shades that came out in the OPI Holland collection. So, And I will be picking up that other shade because that other shade is very pretty too, the blue one. So that will be the shade that I'm going to wear uh, this week, at least until Wednesday. Or if I get sick of it before then, then I'll be taking it off. But... Uh, this is what I'm going to start the week with. Um, so as a base coat for this, I use the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Nail Hardener. And I'm using this instead of a typical base coat because on a couple of my nails I have developed some peeling, which is a big no-no in the nail world. Um, basically on my index finger here, and on one of my, I believe it's my thumbnail, I have some peeling. And what happened as it grows, or what I'm trying to do, I found out on another YouTube video that um, you need to clip it down. There's no way for you to repair it in any way, shape, or form. So the only thing you can do is clip the nail down. But the problem with me is that the peeling started actually on the nail bed. So it's kind of where the nail and my finger are still one before it grows over the edge. So what I decided to do was as it's growing out I'm just clipping it and filing it down because there's no way to for the, the nail to, to form back into one cohesive piece. So the only thing you can do is just clip it down. File it, clip it down, and keep moving. Um, the nail that comes after it is supposed to be very very strong. So it's just a long process because you just have to wait until your nails grow. So. In the meantime, I am using the nail hardener because this stuff is supposed to help with splitting and peeling. And um, so that is my base coat. And then as a top coat, I'm using just the OPI top coat, the clear top coat. And um, on my other nails, it, it works very, very well. I go quite a few days without chipping. I usually use the Sally Hansen um, Mega Shine, the one that comes in the mirrored bottle. That stuff is very good too. I like both of those as a top coat. So, Now, um, nail product of the week is the Orly Spritz Dry Nail Lacquer Dryer Spray. Here it is here. And it says dries nail lacquer and conditions skin with no oily residue. And the first thing that I noticed about this the first time I used it, it has kind of a sweet, almost herbally smell and I turned it over in the back and started looking at the ingredients and it has sesame seed oil, jojoba oil, uh, avocado oil, and of course some perfume to make it smell sweet. But um, which is really good because some of the other nail uh, drying sprays it's just basically it's just alcohol so when you put that on your nails yeah it dries your polish but it wreaks havoc on your cuticles and your cuticles get dry and they get all raggedy looking so with this stuff, um, when you spray it on your nails, it dries the nails and moisturizes the cuticles a little bit, so that helps. Uh, how I use it is I hold my hand in this position like so, and then I'll just take the spray and just kind of spray it once, maybe twice, to make sure I get all the nails covered. Now, before you use this product, you do need to wait until your nails are somewhat dry, kind of a semi-dry kind of state. The, um, the nails should be kind of tacky. 
soft and then if you spray this on you know within another a couple minutes you know they'll be dry all the way through so I do like that um, so also before this video ends I was in Target today and I discovered um, the L'Oreal uh, has a whole line of I guess they're spring polishes I've never used L'Oreal before so if this is like a long time line I'm not aware of it um, so I picked up this color in Butterfly Kisses and it's kind of a pink kind of a color kind of a lavender pink kind of color um, perfect for spring so I went ahead and swatched it for you guys and it is right here okay it's kind of a dark pink it does have a shimmer but the shimmer is so so minute and so faint I, I won't say that it's like um, like a glitter I think it's like super 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 fine it just gives it the whole bottle kind of that iridescent -y kind of look but this is uh, definitely something I'm interested in I hope that it is a polish that lasts a couple of days without chipping so I guess we're gonna find out in the next couple of days so that's it. Um, this is my first video of of the week for Nail of the Week. So sorry about that, guys. My cell phone. <laughs> um, and hopefully this will become a long series. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs up if you want to see the series. Um, thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching the video. And I will see you next time.